two more works by different authors. We're going to use an alphabetical order separated by a semicolon. Let's take a look at this case, which is super, super common. Several studies, parentheses, parentheses, have supported this relationship. This is probably one of the most common uses of the way you're going to be inline citation. That is, you have an idea, and this idea has multiple papers you've drawn from, multiple papers and books. You're going to pull them in. Here, this is a simple example. We just have a two. But in reality, most of your writing, you're going to have five or six because you're doing your literature review. You're taking many ideas. You're putting them, the main things together, like a kind of puzzle, like a block, right? So in this case, how do we put those together? Because we have one paper from Miller and one paper from Shafransky and Mahoney. So how do we put these together? We're going to use alphabetical order. So that is M comes before S. That's the way we do it, not by date. Because look at the date, 1999, 1998. 99 is later. We're not doing it by date here. We're doing it by the name. These are different people. This is a different case than when we just talked about. Let me jump back here real fast. I'm afraid you're going to get confused. It's very easy to get confused by this. Jump back, go back a little bit. What was this case here? This case was one author, multiple papers from different years. Same author, multiple papers from different years. That is quite different from the case of different authors. One author, different author. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's look at a special case such as this. Special case of supporting work. You can say see also. How does that work? Let's look at this example. Minor 2001. So here we have an author. We have a date. Here we have an author. Here we have a date, comma, in between. Here we have an author. Here we have a date. What we've done here is we have this little special case where we say, hey, see also. So our main reference is this, Minor 2001. This is the idea. I took this idea I'm writing about from this person here. However, there are also other authors that are similar or have more information. Then I'm going to say, see also. It's hard to know when to use this case because you could just write it out as we see in the first example. Sometimes I use this when I have the special situation where there's maybe an author who is the key point, but then there's another author that has done a kind of overall research or supporting research or meta-analysis. That is, they've analyzed many papers. I don't want to list all those papers, but you know, if you go read that person's paper, you can see many other papers in his reference list. He's reviewed many others in a meta-analysis. In that case, I like to use C also because I'm saying find that person and you can see a lot. But that's not really my main idea. My main idea is in this case, minor 2001. But if you go look at Adams, you can find a lot of supporting material. Thus, we can say that C also.